basically, I, I see three or four um, important features of the war in Ukraine that make it uh, historic. One is that uh, there's a blatant violation of the charter by a UN Security Council member, and right. that's, that's really uh, decisive. The second thing, I guess, is the nuclear danger uh, that, that comes with the, the war in Ukraine and with uh, Putin's uh, implicit threats and, and, and nuclear signaling. Uh, I think that's important, and you don't see that in, in other uh, uh, wars. Um, I think the, the war also sort of is changing something in the, or so is updating the, the representations that we have of the world of a fragmented world. I mean, it demonstrated that uh, we have um, a, a chaotic world. We, we, we saw in the votes at the UN, you know, f clear majority in favor of, of condemning the war, but still, not all the countries that we, the West, wanted to vote against Russia, voted against Russia. And, 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 and we saw a more diverse world than perhaps we were aware of. Think, uh, you know, uh, countries from the, the, the Gulf, for example, voting their own uh, way, etc. cetera. The, the, the last feature is that compared with the, the war in Ethiopia, which has been uh, terrible in the Congo or Indeed. in Yemen uh, uh, and elsewhere, is the, uh, the global repercussions of the uh, war in Ukraine in terms of uh, food safety, in terms of energy security, hence in terms of inflation uh, and, 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 and the, 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 the sort of attendant responses to that, partly caused by the sanctions that were taken against right. Putin, but basically motivated by, by the war in Ukraine, the tightening of monetary policy, etc., that has had a ripple effect on many uh, countries. And so for all of these reasons, yeah, I do think the Ukraine war is, is uh, really different from, uh, 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 from others. 